Well, hello. Yesterday, Hillary Clinton had her first press conference in 275 days. Sort of. Now, previously, Mrs. Clinton's press corps flew separately from Her Highness. But on her new Hill Force One jet, journalists rode along with her to lob easy softball questions. Yeah. Earlier today, she did field some actual questions about the Clinton Foundation. When I became Secretary of State, the Clinton Foundation, a world-renowned charity, went above and beyond anything that had ever been expected from any charity, disclosing every donor. We have 330,000 donors. Nobody has ever, ever made that kind of disclosure. Ah, so much to disclose. Is Madam Hillary warming up to journalists or just getting better at corralling the ones she likes? Well, there is no one better to ask than Brett Baer, Fox News chief political anchor and host of Special Report with Brett Baer. Welcome back, Brett. Hey, Kennedy. You have interviewed Madam Secretary, and uh, you know how these things go. I think that the press has been very gentle with her on Hill Force One. They've lobbed quite a few softballs, asked her yesterday how her Labor Day was going. Now, if you are so bold as to actually ask her a challenging question, will you get thrown off the plane? <laughs> I don't think so. Not anymore. I think uh, to give those reporters a bit of a break, uh, they just hadn't exercised those muscles in a while. They, uh, 274 days before she talked to them. Uh, I do think they asked a, a couple of pointed questions uh, today in the press briefing. The fact that she's coming back to the back of the plane, Kennedy, suggests that, uh, you know, listen, the polls are tightening. Yeah. Uh, there's that one CNN poll that has Donald Trump up by a couple. And I think that they think that this is having an effect. These the email stories, the Clinton Foundation stories, and that she needs to compete on a TV basis with Donald Trump, who obviously gets a lot of coverage day to day. He gets a lot of coverage. He generates a lot of coverage. Part of that by having those uh, press conferences, impromptu and otherwise, when he has big events. Uh, but I would think, you know, if you're sitting there on the plane or if you've been covering her campaign for six to eight months, you would have plenty to ask her about. Uh, but, you know, I, I guess not. She had the, the unannounced visit to the gaggle. And I'm, I'm wondering, is the press starting to turn on her? Is, is that part of it? Is the resentment building because they do want a press conference? They do want follow-up questions in a way that you can't necessarily have with a one-on-one -on -one interview. Yeah, I think, listen, I was kind of joking when I said they hadn't exercised those muscles. Of course, you would have a ton of questions, but they're just not used to the, her coming back and actually spending serious time with them. Yeah. Uh, that it was kind of a, it's always a drive by thing, uh, how you do and have a cookie. And I think that uh, this is different, and now you're going to see some substantive QA and follow ups, uh, hopefully, uh, on the trail day to day. This story about the emails is not over. Yeah. Every day we get something else. And uh, this report from the FBI, the notes, is, is pretty heinous if you look at it. I mean, the 13 devices, remember when she said she was just doing it yeah, for convenience? Yeah, that's one of my questions for you. She had 13 different Blackberries that her team was not able to turn over to the FBI. It doesn't seem like they did enough to pursue that. So what happens to all of the confidential information, top secret confidential, SAP and otherwise, on those devices? We don't know. We don't know. And two of the devices were destroyed with a hammer. Um, that's not usual. You can't find the other devices, including a laptop. And then in the process here, you scrub the server with this program uh, called Bleach It. Bleach Bit, and yeah. It's, uh, Bleach Bit, oh, sorry. And it's essentially to, you know, make sure that no one ever can see it. Yeah. I think that that... You know, for the American public looking at that, and I should say some people, as much as we've covered it, ha haven't really been paying attention to it. No. Now, because a lot of people are covering it, uh, more and more people are paying attention, yeah, and it's and affecting her honest and trustworthiness. You're, you're absolutely right, Brett, and this is a time where a majority of Americans start waking up to the election. And if this is what they're smelling in that first cup of coffee, it's going to be a, a pretty bitter mug of joe. Uh, from Hill Hope. All right, well, Brett, thank you very much. I don't buy that she didn't know what the C's meant. I don't buy that she thought it was A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I can't remember any of the questions you're asking me about. Yeah. Uh, I think that she's still in deep yogurt, and I thank you for your time always. Always good to be here. Thank See you, Kate. Very good.